We've got a cold morning again. This is a live look from downtown 21C Museum Hotel uh, live camera 29 degrees. Now this is not as cold as we got yesterday morning. There's still a little time to get a little colder, but we did get down to 26, 27 the day before. So the growing season is over. We have stuck a stake in that one uh, with these uh, multiple uh, mornings down not just to freezing, but into hard freeze territory, upper 20s. It's 28 in Danville. It's all the way down to 23 in Monticello by the lake. So the warming trend will start today. Low 50s for the high. Tonight, we get down to around freezing, some upper 20s early Saturday morning. And then Saturday afternoon, we'll just warm up a little more. We're going to be up in the mid-50s. Some folks pushing 60 down south. And by the end of the weekend, we'll all be around 60 for the high. And that's only the beginning of the warm up. The warm up really gets going next week. All that cold air that's been entrenched across the Great Lakes extending into the deep south. Well, that's shunted on out of here. You can see that coastal low that's going to cause the Carolinas problems as well the next couple of days. So by the end of the weekend, this mild push starts to pick up and will only expand in the next week. But notice there's colder air digging in across the Pacific Northwest. There's another system coming in there that'll get to us by the end of next week. Uh, possibly late in the work week. So overnight lows are coming up from around 30 to mid 30s to 40. We get above freezing. We don't go below freezing overnight and daytime highs are going to take off. Look at that. Not just around 60, but even mid to upper 60s near 70 degree highs next week. This is going from the big chill to the big warm up next week. Here you can see those above normal temperatures Monday, Tuesday, getting into the middle of next week. And then all of a sudden right behind it, boom, here comes that next cold outbreak. It looks like it could dive all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So that one may have enough power to get across the Mississippi and give us a chilly weekend ahead. We're up, then we're down, then we're up, then we're down. Uh, so typical for this time of the year as we start to get into that uh, you know, seasonal shift from fall into winter start to see longer sustained cold periods. High pressures pushing east and we're going to get into a sustained above normal uh, round of weather here finally after the big chill this week. And notice there isn't anything coming our way. They've got that uh, low that's causing all the problems, the heavy rain and the uh, strong winds along the coastal Carolinas. But here we are with ridge of high pressure still holding even at the end of the weekend. So ideal weather football wise, hey, a little chilly, but for tomorrow night, Kickoff at 7 o'clock as the Cats take on Tennessee out of Kroger Field. The majority of the game should be spent in the 40s. Today we'll hit 50s, low 50s, which means a lot of the day will be spent in the 40s. But we've got plenty of sunshine to work with. Tonight down to around 30, some upper 20s out there. Clear cold with lows around freezing. And there's the warm up. We'll kick it up to 60 by the end of the weekend, or at least near it, and then we'll jump into the mid, even at times, upper 60s. And it's sustained warmth. I mean, it's days of it. Just like we've gone through days of this cold air, we're going to get into days of above normal warmth, and then we're going to wrap it all up with some shower and storm chances Thursday and could have another big chill to follow for that upcoming weekend.